The West is desperate. Putin's arrest warrant was issued because sanctions against Russia are not working. It's all legal. Russia is evacuating children from Ukraine in accordance with international law. Not a single war crime. The Hague acquitted the Russian army. The Detector Media analytical team has done a great job revealing these fakes. Read the article Revenge for the Children of the Donbass. How Russia justifies deportation and other war crimes in Ukraine to see for yourself. My name is Vadim Miski. In the next 10 minutes I will tell you the key points. Let's get started. There are obvious problems with the cause and effect relationship. The arrest warrant for Putin was issued because sanctions against Russia are not working. Such reports appeared in Russian propaganda media. They claim that the West is desperate because sanctions are ineffective, which is why on March 17 the International Criminal Court issued arrest warrants for Russian President Putin and Russian Commissioner for Children's Rights Maria Lvova Belova. Analysts from the EU vs. Disinfo project noticed this story online. They are convinced that such messages are part of Russia's strategy to escape responsibility for its war crimes. The International Criminal Court has issued two warrants of arrest in the Ukraine situation. For Vladimir Putin, President of the Russian Federation, and for Maria Lvovabelova, Commissioner of the Russian President for Children's Rights, for the alleged war crimes of deportation of children from Ukrainian occupied territories into the Russian Federation. It is forbidden by international law for occupied powers to transfer civilians from the territory they live in to other territories. Children enjoy special protection under the Geneva Convention. The contents of the warrants are secret in order to protect victims, the ICC, attaches great importance to the protection of victims, especially children. Nevertheless, the judges of the chamber dealing with this case decided to make the existence of the warrants public in the interest of justice and to prevent the commission of future crimes. Russia is not a party to the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court and is not bound by it, as stated by the Russian Foreign Ministry. In response, Russian propagandists are calling to bomb the Hague. И этот придурок, министр юстиции, должен познакомиться с арматами. Каждый из дегенератов, который считает себе позволительным то, что они сделали, должен ответить. Поэтому не только выписать ордер на их арест, но и поручить спецслужбам его реализовать. В какой бы стране они ни спрятались. Как те же американцы сказали. From now on, the Russian president has the official status of a suspect in an international crime. As a result, world leaders may limit their communication with Putin. Russia is evacuating children from Ukraine in accordance with international law. This is the message that has appeared in Russian propaganda media. The reports also claim that Western media uh, intentionally use the term adoption of children to discredit Russia. Supposedly, the Russians are evacuating Ukrainian children to safe places uh, and uh, allowing their citizens to take them under only temporary care so that children would not have to live in orphanages. Children of the Donbass are Russian children. This Kremlin propaganda talking point has become a bit stale. Все дети, которые были устроены, я подчеркну, что основная часть детей это из детских домов, это из интернатных учреждений, которые знают, кто их на протяжении восьми лет обстреливал. Они знают, кто это, какие списки, куда я что буду подавать агрессорам, насильникам. In fact, the abduction and forced deportation of Ukrainian children to Russia has been documented by the UN. 
A separate section of the UN report is devoted to the results of the investigation into the forced relocation and deportation of Ukrainian children by the Russian invaders. Unfortunately, world leaders have failed to exclude Russia from such global international organizations. Since April the 1st, the Russian Federation has been presiding over the United Nations Security Council. It is not surprising that the UN does not comment on the decisions of the International Criminal Court. James. Yeah, okay, so um, you've long stressed the need for accountability for what's happened in Ukraine. What is the Secretary General's reaction to the ICC arrest warrants announced in the last hour or so, which include an arrest warrant for the President of the Russian uh, Federation, Vladimir Putin? Uh, as we've said many times before here, the International Criminal Court is independent of the Secretariat. Uh, we, are, we do not comment on their, um, on their actions. But does it have any impact in the way the UN um, operates with regard to the President of Russia? For example, if President Putin wanted to visit any UN headquarters, whether it was in Geneva, Vienna, um, New York, would he be permitted to enter? Will the Secretary General still talk or meet with President Putin? I, I don't want to answer hy uh, hypothetical uh, questions because, as, as you know, uh, issues of travel involve, involve others. Uh, we will continue, as a general rule, the Secretary General will speak to whomever he needs to speak in order to deal uh, with the issues out in front of him. As for Russia's part in the fate of the children of the Donbass, the Russian propaganda version says it had none until 2022. Children in the Donbass were dying long before the so-called special military operation, so Russia has nothing to do with it. The Hague acquitted the Russian army. This information was spread in Russian propaganda media. They claimed that the court found no war crimes committed by the Russian military in Ukraine. This is a lie. The propagandists concluded that the deportation of children is the only thing that Russia is accused of. And this means that neither Russia nor its military is guilty of anything else. This supposedly confirms the Russian propaganda narrative that Russians bring peace. At the moment, Putin will be welcomed in South Africa, said the leader of the country's Economic Freedom Fighters Party. And no one is going to arrest Putin. If needs be, we'll go and fetch Putin from the airport to his meeting. He will address, finish all his meetings, we'll take him back to the airport. We're not going to be told by these hypocrites of the International Criminal Court who know the real violators of human rights, who know the murderers of this world. So we don't want... Uh, ICC's hypocrisy to apply here in our country. On the other hand, the White House welcomed the persecution of war criminals. However, the United States is not a party to the Rome Statute under which the International Criminal Court operates. Your reaction to the International Criminal Court issuing an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin? Well, I think it's justified, it's, but the question is, it's not recognized internationally by us either. But I think it makes a very strong point. Provide information to the ICC. War crimes in Ukraine. He's clearly committed war crimes. If Putin dares to visit one of the countries that have ratified the Rome Statute, he could be taken into custody and transferred to the Hague. The Russian evacuation of Ukrainian children is not a war crime. This message was being promoted by Kremlin propagandists. Fact-checkers from the Stop Fake project examined the case. They found that Russia is using misleading terms and calling forced deportation rescue. However, people do not return and may even go missing in particular children. Russia cares about the children of the Donbass. This is one of the most popular talking points spread by the Kremlin, according to detector media analysts. 
Владимир Владимир, благодаря вам. Маленький. Нет, 15 лет. Mm -hmm. Теперь я знаю, что такое быть мамой ребенка с Донбасса. Let her answer in the Hague, the speech of the Russian Commissioner for Children's Rights, Maria Lvova Belova, at an informal meeting of the UN Security Council on the forced transfer of Ukrainian children to Russia was blocked. As Russia takes on the presidency of the Security Council, we will use every opportunity to push back on their using their perch in the chair to spread disinformation and uh, to uh, use their chair to push support of, of their efforts. So it's for that reason uh, today that we have uh, opposed their ARIA uh, formula briefer, uh, a woman who has been charged uh, with uh, war crimes, uh, who has been uh, involved in deporting and removal of, of uh, children. Uh, from their homes uh, to uh, Russia, and we strongly uh, 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 are opposed to that, and that's why we've joined the UK in blocking UN Web uh, from being used uh, to allow her uh, to have an international international podium uh, to spread uh, disinformation and uh, to try to defend her uh, horrible actions that are taking place uh, in Ukraine. Russian propaganda highlights the category of the children of the Donbass. This narrative has been promoted together with the myth of the eight years during which Ukraine supposedly bombed Donbass. Currently, according to the Ukrainian Presidential Commissioner for Children's Rights, more than 19,500 children have been taken from the occupied territories to Russia. Ukraine will bring home all the abducted children. Also, Putin and Lvova Belova will stand trial in The Hague. Well, if they don't do what Hitler did. Have a good day.